Now, first thing you want to do is make sure everything is the same length, right? So you see all these clips here, how we got some cuts here. We want to make sure everything is the same length, right? So to do that, we want to take this range tool here and highlight everything. Then we want to right click, go down to bounce selection, not mix down selection, but bounce selection. All right now, we want to go up here to song export stems. Over here in sources, we want to select what we want to export. Now, if we only want it, you know kick snare hi-hat then we would just you know select only them but we want everything right so let's just get everything now if you wanted to bring your effects channels over you can select that if you have some buses in the project you can select those for this sake we only have audio files now over here in location you want to choose where you put these files because I'm telling you that is very important last thing you want to do is export these stems and Lord knows where they are and then the search would be real so let's go to desktop and let's select let's 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 make a new folder call it stems bruh stems bruh right select that folder and make sure you export in between the loop so make a loop and it's going to export what you selected that's that's important too preserve mono tracks right to tempo right tempo to audio files that's important because you don't want to export it in in if it's not in the right tempo, then you could run into some issues later on when you're trying to import it into the other DAW. So you want to that you want to make sure it's synced correctly and close after export. Wave format, um, you can do MP3 or wave. I'd stick with those two. Wave sounds pretty good. Resolution 24, sample rate 44. I like to keep it 24 to 44 and you're all good. Hit OK. And just like that, all our stems are in the folder we want it. So